Thanks for coming back to the channel guys. This video is going to be a Throw Mouse Moto Garage video because Kevin and I are both going to do our oil changes. This is like a couple months ago and actually before the first time I show my pedal commander. So I talk a little bit about that before we get started. I show off the filter I'm using, uh, the oil I'm using, and Kevin is switching it up with a different filter and oil because his is a 900. We're also doing something really special by using the pump system for the oil instead of jacking the Riker up and draining it out that way. So twisting it up a little bit, you know, this is Thrill Mouse Moto. So we're gonna do things just a little bit differently. Uh, but it's cool to be able to give you one video where we're gonna do the oil change on a 900 and a 600, show a little bit of the differences, and then one of the wacky little things we had to go through with it, but we'll explain it all in the video. Throw Mouse Moto. We're just gonna let Kevin take it away on this video. As I was going through it, I liked all the dialogue. I like everything Kevin had to say about it. Um, so we're just gonna let him do it. Normally I do a post audio type deal on these videos and just kind of speed it up and go over real quick myself, but gotta give Kevin a hand. He really killed it and he breaks off some cool knowledge uh, for us on it. Um, really, before we get started, I wanna give a shout out to the subscribers. Um, we're gonna hit 2,000 subscribers in only a year, July 6th. That's the goal. We're trying to hit 2,000. Thanks for watching. Yeah, dog. Check it out. What'd you do? Hold on. Oh, okay. Thanks. Does it interfere? Nope. I put it on this back mount, or not mount, but on the actual handlebar itself in the back here. But some good real estate back here on this uh, pro taper. I mean, I was using it here for that, here for that. I can put it up here too. Or I could put it here. Or put it here and then stick it out. Well, mine's warmed up, ready to go. Oh, it has to be warm? I thought it has well, to be cool. Well, warm, not cool, not hot. You remember, oil has viscosity. When it's warmer, it flows better, easier to get it all out. Oh, that's the call. So yours is going to be hot for a while. You got your oil change kit? Yeah. How many miles on? Uh, over eight. You need mileage. So I'll keep track for us. So definitely safe to say I am overdue for my first oil change being over 8,000 miles on mine. Uh, this is me just showing, uh, I got the basic kit. I don't know if it's something someone put together online or it's through Can-Am, I really don't remember, but I just ordered it as a Riker 600 kit. So it gave me uh, the exact amount of oil I need and then the, the stock OEM filter. Kevin switches it up and he, he explains what he's doing uh, in the video with a different filter, a different oil, and a different amount of oil because his is gonna be the 900. So Chiquita, Chiquita 600 and uh, Kevin, AKA Kev Dog, AKA Kevin the Menace, Kevin Minutes in Heaven, uh, his 900 uh, Riker, both uh, 2019s. Also, want to let you know everybody know I always I don't realize that sometimes my videos this might be the first Thrill Mouse Moto video you've seen. These are not instructional videos, uh, they're entertainment purposes only. We're just showing you some of the steps we went through to get this done. Thanks for watching. All right, today we're going to be doing two oil changes. We're going to be doing one on the 600, which takes three quarts of oil. We're doing one on the 900, which takes three and a half quarts of oil. That explains why I have four. Barry's going to go with the manufacturer's recommendation of the 5W40 with their kit. Makes it nice and easy. I'm going to go with the 10W40 because we don't really experience those cold temperatures here. Um, we're not going to do the lift it up, get the oil pan, 
drain it into the oil pan, make a mess on your back, get dirty type of thing. We're using this thing, the MV, it's a, a fluid extractor, evacuator. The MV7201, and the reason why I have the one this big is because of that. This will fill, that'll fill this. But with uh, six and a half quarts, that might go to about here. Uh, we're just gonna suck all that oil right out. Mine was warmed up a little bit. Barry's is cooling down. And all I do, make sure that this is sealed because you can unseal it. So you can pour it out. There's a nice hole there to pour things out with. But I'm just gonna make sure it's sealed, has a vacuum. And then there's a switch over here that says evacuate or dispense so we can actually take what's in here and put it back out and that's how we're going to refill the oil cans so this is shoved in here all the way and all i'm going to do is step on this now the the oil you ran you ran the riker today so the oil is yeah, warm it for a couple of minutes it's it's warm it's not cold and it got to like three bars and i'm happy i just don't want it to be blazing hot when i'm handling the cover so all I'm gonna do is start evacuating. And you'll see it coming right through here. I'll give this five, maybe six pumps. And that's just gonna suck it out. There's no electric pump. And here it comes. And now it's just gonna start collecting. So we're gonna let that do its thing. So you don't have to pump it the whole time, it's nope. just like siphoning, so you just got to get it going and then it's just going to start going, filling up. Every once in a while you need to go in and, and pump it once or twice. But I'll wait until I start seeing fluid here and then I'll take the cap off. And you can see it's starting to show. Yeah, I definitely needed an oil change. How many miles? On yours? I've got 8,000. I have to write it down. 8,507. And this will be my second oil change. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. You've had an oil change too. I'm going to give it a couple more. And now we're good to go. I'm going to go ahead and loosen the cap. So we have a T30. We have three bolts. Same on the 600 as the 900. And this one's a little fun to get to, but loosen, loosen, and we just got to sneak around this rubber hose and loosen. Now that I've got that. This one's always the fun one. Check our uh, oil canister. This one's almost out. I just don't want to lose it. One's out. Two's out. You can... No, nope, that's background noise. I thought it was that I was here. Still coming out. There we go. So there is a 900s 
capacity. About a quarter above that first line. Now we're going to take the old filter out. This little handy dandy tool came in with uh, a new dash cam that I bought. Now the fun part, getting it out without dripping everything everywhere, which I've already done. That's out. I'm gonna suck the rest of that out of there. How's the level on that thing going? In there. Look at the thing. I'm just moving it around. We put the new filter in. Now, there is a rubber seal here. This rubber seal, as long as it's showing no damage, I don't see any nicks on it at all, it's fine to reuse. The same, we're not touching the bolts on the bottom. So we're not replacing crush washers or anything like that. So we're going to take my k &N 152, which is the one for this model. And we'll show the difference. It's a stock one. Ooh, feel that. What, that one's heavier? Yeah, this one's heavier for some reason, but completely different makeup here. Is that the box work? that one came in? Yeah. Kind of like marked or anything? That's yours came in. Oh. All right. We're just going to drop this in. I'm going to set it down. And it's in. Now, we're going to take that cat. Bring off the oil. Lined up. Nothing better putting the bolts in. And now the balancing act. Can we hold the tube? I want to get it this way. So that's not going in tight for a reason because I got to get my torque wrench because I want to make sure that's right. This is done other than putting oil in. Half years. Let's check your temperature by doing this. Look how much room you got. Oh yeah, that's a big difference too. Look at that. <laughs> it's still a little warm, but I think we're good. Look at the little baby. The little baby 600. for your first oil change after first oil change after 8037 you have a first oil change yet? this is my first oil change you want to open your thing? I just barely bought it dude you want to open your thing? I barely bought it with 43 miles on it you like a Gordon Ramsay at it the have you seen his videos? no it's like open canister <laughs> 
take out this thing, Ooh, and then it cuts to this next scene, and it's like him doing all of his cooking, but it's cutting to it. Yeah, but isn't that like Sam Raimi? I don't know. Like, Evil Dead? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Chase Locks. <laughs> this shit. <laughs> Alright, so, got my plastic open here. Should I open this now? Yeah. Doesn't matter what the level says. You're good. Stick it right inside Oh, here. man. I need to be. Sure. What in the world is that? Honey's <laughs> receipt. It's probably the sticker that, uh, probably one of these dumb stickers. It is new. Well, we'll take, well, we have to take it apart to get that out. Wait, where'd you put it? Put it right in there. You're good. It's out of the way. Now. You're gonna get dirty. <laughs> Dig it in. <laughs> All the way till it's touching. Till you're done. Until it stops. You have a deal crank crank. Oh, there it, is. Uh, it has vacuum now? Yep, it's on vacuum. What was the vacuum switch? It's down here. So it's evacuated. So that would have been what all the way. It's dispensed. So it has to be pressed down to have vacuum, and then you can pump. Yeah. You give it like five or six. Use your oil. One more. Let it go. <laughs> yeah. You don't have to plug it in. You don't have to hook it to your battery. Drip drop. I think the worst part is cleaning it after you know. Soap and water. Pump. A lot of water. You don't want to leave oil on there. Are you just going to put them back in the same containers? Or? I'll put the oil back in the same container yeah. and then drop it to an oil drop off. But this has to be cleaned. Yeah. It takes time. Wow, look at that. It's going pretty quick. No, it's because it's already full. It was already right here. Yeah, that's going quick. Yeah, it's going down quick. The first oil change I did was Ryan. Oh, oh I forgot you did oil on right everything because it just Ooh, poured it out. It's warm. Yeah, it's warm. It's not super hot, but it's warm. What about Ryan? When we lifted it, we got that first bolt off and, went, and it spread. Oh, wow. Move it around a little bit. Pull it out a little bit, push it back in a little bit. Oh, I don't want it to lose its suction. No, you won't. See if you can move it around the block. You can push it in at an angle. Uh, there's some more. Just loosen them enough where we can get our fingers out. That's going to be a little warm. What? The cap? Yeah, because it's metal. Damn, this one's in the way away. You need a large one? No, I might need to go all the way down. And come underneath this. Come out here. Oh, dang. Wait. 
What? Here. Here it is. Here it goes, Go straight down? I don't know. Why is light angle up? It shouldn't be that tight. No, I just, I'm not in it. I can't get a hold of it. You don't just have a baby one? I don't need a lot of leverage. Oh, yeah. Sure. I don't know what it's going to play with. That's it. Are you? Oh, right here. Can you hold your finger on it? Yeah, kind of, not for long though. I can do this in small, small doses. Don't take it completely off. Take it off. Don't take the note, take, take the bolts out. You think we can handle that? I don't, I mean, it's hot, but I can stick it up. You don't want to stick out some more? Well, we already did stick it all out. Oh. Yeah, that's really hot. Let me get in this glove. I can take it all. I just, if I can set it down real quick, I ain't trying to hold it for a long time. Where are you going to put it? Now that we've introduced air, yep. Here, go ahead and give it a pump. Bring the bag over my. There we go. Ready? Mm -hmm. Wow. 8,000 miles? It does not look the same. You mean just the structure of it? Yeah. Look, look at the inside of this one. Oh, that? Because it has that cap on it? It looks like a KN 162, but it's not. That was what was in yours. Right. This is a stock. Yours is a stock, but they look different. Mm -hmm. All right. Double chain pulse. Do we want to suck that little bit out? Yeah, we can do that. Through here or here? Right through there. I got it.
Nice. Got it. Oh, you're a beer bong. Beer bong in there for a second. Your filter is right here. It's the open part up top. Nope. That part? Yep. Yeah. That's your seal on the bottom. Just push it until it pops. Ta da! Here's a uh, seal with black, and this is some type of red, isn't it? Yeah. Look at it either. Set it and press it down. Good. 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 Okay. You got it. Oh, there it kind of goes. It feels like it's just sitting on yeah, that though. It is. Maybe I need to push the filter in more. Doesn't fit mm -hmm. the cat. Mm -hmm. It's probably in there. I'm going to give it all the way in. So is that. What the hell? Well, you We're have to get it. this recess thing right on it then, I guess. Here. I know why. Hold this. It's top of your oil filter. <laughs> That's why. <laughs> you knew it, though. I didn't know it until you, I just looked at it. Well, you did because you yeah. were saying, like, why doesn't yours have a cap? That's weird. It's because I have this in there. Nice. <laughs> so that's what happens when you don't change your oil filter. But you caught it. You just didn't take it all the way home, dude. I wouldn't even have caught it in the first place. I don't know, that looks different. He's Whatever. been like driving to the store. This oil filter doesn't fit. <laughs> <laughs> all pissed off, dude. No, I ordered it online. I've been all pissed off. That's a valuable one. Why? It's moving it away from me. So then what? It's, it's on. Yeah, we're going we're gonna to do it back. Doesn't click on. Oh, you just have to. Oh, it does. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that shouldn't really click on like that. What happened to the sun? 
Look at these clouds. Black hole What? Oh. <laughs> I was a kid. They played that song on Headbangers Ball. Yeah. Every morning at 5 a.m. when I woke up, because I would go from Looney Tunes to MTV. Looney Tunes to MTV. I did that because it was the same show every morning that that block of Headbangers Ball and it's like change it every day man so then I'd have to switch back and forth because I don't want to hear that song uh do it all by hand or tighten it just a little bit tighten it till it's just tight and then we'll go with the short fringe action I'm black hole son I'm black hole son Did you say it was 80? 80 inch pounds, plus or minus 9, I've got it set for 89. So we just got them down to um, hand tight and then just a little bit with the other wrench. Just enough just to get it, you know, kind of secure on. Let the torque wrench do the rest. Make sure it's up to spec. Yeah, it's gonna smell good for a while. That's kind of like Ryan's big truck. Mm. You seen it? Yeah. Oh, come on, I didn't get that hand tight. There we go. Wide mouth. You do the half first? Yeah. That way if I screw it up I can have a couple more shots. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're good. driving for 10 miles and then check the oil out. Switch. All right. 
right, we're gonna take a little spin and come back. So I think Kevin did a good job uh, explaining it as he goes. Like I said, it's not an install video, but helping explain what we're doing because we are doing something different. Um, it's something that people, that device, that vacuum device is what people use on their cars, different things like that for changing the oil. So we wanted to bring it over to the Riker side of things. You guys, G8 right there trying to show it off. Um, that's what he's used it before or why he uh, initially bought that device uh, to pump the oil out and it does his whole car so we're like you know what because it does cost money for one of those things so let's get the most out of it and he's done i know he he's done at least one oil change on a, on someone else's Riker before this day where we've done both of ours so it wasn't the first time he's done it um, the second time he's done it was his and then the third mine on the same day uh, but like I said it's cool to be able to get a video out to where we can show the 900 and the 600 you know doing doing the same thing but at the same time it's different because it takes a different amount of oil uh, we didn't have to use different filters but we did so it was cool being able to see two different ones and like Kevin was saying and like you, you even when we figured out the issue with the lid it, did, it still fit differently. So things are different, but there's always little issues you can come across and I'm glad we ran into one and we could show you. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to Thrill Mouse Moto. I was paid to say this since Barry said he felt kind of weird asking. He also wanted me to say Baja Blast Slams and yeah, dog, Thrill Mouse Moto.